going on people so some of you have asked me what type of camera I'm using to record these videos and how I have my setup so uh, some of you might be interested in doing the same thing or you just want a camera in the vehicle for whatever reason maybe you uh, travel to Mexico a lot or you go to the track or you just want something to record for like a makeshift dash cam you don't want to get a, a regular dash cam whatever your reason is so I've decided to just put a little video together to show you and at the same time show you the the downfalls of the GoPro Hero 5 with its audio and the uh, the differences in you know adding a little bit more money to it and how you can get like professional audio quality so first I want to show you what I used to use this was the Hero 5 and almost 90% of all the videos you hear me talking on this was the GoPro Hero 4 Black excuse me GoPro Hero 4 Black okay so this was my go-to camera I had it mounted right here underneath my um, rearview mirror and I'll show you how I had that set up this thing right out of the box excellent I mean I love the audio quality right out of the box however I wanted the uh, waterproof capabilities of the Hero 5, the GPS, uh, and all the, the little bells and whistles that came with it. So I bought a Hero 5 a while ago, probably about two years ago, whenever it came out. And right away I realized the audio was terrible. So I'm going to demonstrate to you right now how bad the audio is right out of the box, okay? So now you're listening to me on the GoPro Hero 5 with just the internal microphones. Uh, this is on the auto setting. The car is running. There's no other ambient sound. So it's not too bad. But let me turn the air conditioner on. And this is the quality you get when you've got all kinds of background noise, okay? You know, the wipers going. Uh, so this is auto mode. So let me, try, let me go through the other two modes. You've got wind and stereo. So this is what it sounds like when doves cry. No, this is what it sounds like on auto. Let me put uh, the GoPro on wind. Next will be wind. Now you're listening to me on the GoPro Hero 5 with the, the audio selection for wind only. Okay, this is the wind selection. Cars running, air conditioners blasting. This is what they call wind setting. Now I'm going to put it on stereo setting and show you the difference. Now you're listening to me on the GoPro Hero 5 on stereo setting. Stereo, stereo. They, all three settings on the GoPro Hero 5 suck balls, okay? The Hero 6 is no better, same type of setup. So auto, wind, stereo, all garbage. Now I wanna show you with just a few extra bucks how you can make the, uh, the, the GoPro Hero 5 sound a lot better sound quality okay now you're listening to me back on the GoPro Hero 5 with a directional mic simple little setup you got to get the GoPro Hero uh, accessory it's the audio adapter that's the most expensive part out of all this you'll need uh, a directional microphone and you'll also need a little wire adapter so the corner of your screen is what the setup looks like how I have it set up and then I'll walk you through everything real fast Okay, so now let me just take you through every little piece that I have. All right, so first you got the camera and the camera mount. It's a, a dual action, you know, a suction cup mount for the GoPro Hero uh, or the GoPro series. Next, you've got the audio cable. And then in the top left of your corner on the top of my uh, rear view mirror, that's the directional mic and it's got a little dead cat on top of it. And I also have like a little, uh, you can get these little wire guides or little 3M sticky wire guides. And if you look from the side, you can see how the camera is actually mounted. And you can also see that I also have a little tiny adapter that's going in there. All these pieces will be readily available to click on down in the description of this, uh, link, uh, description of this video. All right, so let me turn the air conditioner off because I don't need it right now, but that's it people that's the setup i have for those of you that have been asking uh you know i've had a bunch of questions as to what type of camera i would go with now for your vehicle for your vehicle only i suggest going with a dedicated dash cam don't use a gopro because you're going to forget even though the gopro hero 5 has loop recording you're going to forget and you want dual action cameras you want your front facing camera and you want a rear camera that record at the same time so if anybody hits you from the rear or from sides, whatever, you're covered. 
Using a GoPro, I would not recommend using a GoPro for as a dash cam. Although the quality is awesome, I wouldn't do it. Now, knowing that the GoPro Hero 4 was my GoPro or was my go-to camera, it's tripping all over me freaking lips today. Knowing that this was my go-to camera, uh, would I recommend this over to Hero 5? Absolutely. Uh, if you're going to be doing something like this and you're just in a vehicle, go with this one. This one's cheaper. Right out of the box, the audio is great. You can listen to all the other videos I did with this one. Um, and you have you can take the little door off on the side, which I did like that, and just run a little cable right down into your cigarette lighter. So it's constantly charging while you're recording so it won't go dead. Uh, yeah, I, I would recommend, if it's money is an issue, I would recommend going with this one for your vehicle for doing something like this. But if money's not an issue or you already have a Hero 5 and you too think that the audio quality sucks like most people, then get yourself a little directional mic, a uh, couple accessories, plug it in, and the quality is a million times better. Let's be real. The, the quality over what the GoPro has to offer is a million times better once you start adding some uh, accessories to it. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions for me, shoot me a message below. I will get back to you, I, I promise, unless your message contains naughty words and then GoPro, uh, YouTube filters out a lot of the spam and a lot of the douchebags that send me messages. So later on I have to go through my um, spam filter and, and see what somebody sent. Sometimes you send me a link and that gets filtered too even though you, it was completely harmless. So. I do try to respond to everybody. I try to ask them, answer as many questions. That's why I'm here. Um, you know, even to the people that I get that are haters. I don't know why. There's some people that are just total losers on the internet that have nothing better to do than just r run from YouTube channel to YouTube channel and just give hate. I mean, are you that miserable in your life? But if you are, make sure you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It doesn't matter because you watch the video and guess what? Revenue is cha-ching. So, that's it. Uh, please be safe. Have a nice weekend. It's Saturday morning. It's raining here in Philadelphia. I have to run to the mall. Um, I thought I was going to be doing some work, so I'm in my slash work gear. But uh, nope, I'm off. I'm going to be going to the mall right now. But that's all I have, people. Please subscribe if you would like. Um, I do giveaways every month. There's one active right now, although it's hidden. A lot of people don't know that. Um, and that's it. You guys and girls be safe. I'm out.